Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Man Cave for another episode of Man Cave Meals. Today we're going to fire up the Kamado Joe and we're going to make a Man Cave version of Bangers and Mash with some really nice looking jalapeno brats. So let's get started. I'm gonna get this cook started by lighting a fire in the center of the firebox of my Kamado Joe Classic 3. And I'm gonna set the heat deflectors on the accessory rack here in the low position. You can go all the way to the lowest position here if you want. Doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna set both halves of the grill grate in the upper position to set up the first part of this cook for indirect cooking. We're gonna set up the first part of this cook to cook at about 300 degrees. So I'm gonna close the vent down to about halfway between the first and second mark and then I'm going to use the I command to get the grill to fire it up to about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. While our grill's getting warmed up I'm going to introduce you to the star of our show. I have four jalapeno brats here that I got hooked up with from Louie's Deli and Meat Market out in Arlington, Tennessee. My good friend Chris Tapp who is also another Kamado Joe fan hooked me up with these when we were at the Atlanta Grill Company uh, Father's Day event back in June. So I've got four of these guys here and I'm gonna put in half of a sliced onion. I've got four cloves of garlic that I've smashed up. I'm gonna drop in some fresh thyme and I'm gonna dump in a whole bottle of the Sierra Nevada Keller Weiss beer which is a nice summer wheat beer and then I'm just gonna top that off with some chicken stock. And I'm going to bring that all the way up to the top level on this pan. And then we're going to put this guy on the grill and we're going to let those brats uh, sit in that hot tub for about an hour and a half. And now that the Kamado Joe is up to temperature, we're just going to prop it open. I'm going to set these guys in here and like I said, we're going to let that heat up and let those go there for about an hour and a half. And then what we're going to do is come back and I'll show you some real magic with this. Okay guys, we've been going actually close to two hours on here. And I came back about halfway through it and topped it off with a little extra chicken stock. So now we're just going to take this off the grill. Okay, the next thing I've done is I've gone ahead and disengaged the I command. And we're going to do a little bit of reconfiguration on the grill setup here. I'm going to take the grill grates out, set them aside. I'm going to pull the heat deflectors off, set them aside for just a moment also. And I'm actually going to pull that accessory rack out of my way also. And then I'm just going to put my grill grates back down here in the low position because we're going to come back shortly and give those brats just a little bit of sear. So I've got my bottom vent open now that the I command's gone. And I'm going to open the top vent to about the third mark. And the next thing I've done here is I've gone ahead and taken about two cups of liquid off of that bath that we had our brats in because we're going to use this liquid uh, to make our pan sauce. Okay, on my stovetop, I've got a pan heating up and I'm going to melt two or three tablespoons of butter in this pan. And as that butter melts, I'm going to add equal amount of flour to that. And I'm just going to get my whisk. And we're going to whisk this in. And what we're doing here is we're making a roux, which is equal parts of butter and flour. And we're going to use that to thicken up our sauce that we pulled off. So what we need to do with this is we need to just whisk this constantly over medium-high heat until it starts to become nutty in an aroma. You got to get that flour cooked. You don't want your sauce to taste floury. So this will start to darken a little bit. And as it starts to darken, it, which will take just a few minutes, then we can put our liquid in. As you're whisking that, you'll see it start to change colors. This has just started to darken up. So what I want to do now is drizzle in my liquid and whisk it. And as you drizzle that in, you're going to see it. It's going to tighten up very quickly. So just uh, kind of keep going and keep drizzling. We're going to drizzle this whole two cups or so of liquid into this roux. And once we get that in there, we're just going to bring it to a simmer and we're going to whisk it fairly constantly. 
And you want to kind of just watch this as you go. You can make this as thick as you want. Uh, what you're going to want to do is at least get it to where it'll coat the back of a spoon. About like that. I'm going to let this get just a little thicker. Okay, I have this to about the consistency I'm looking for. That's looking pretty good for me. If you want it thicker, let it go a little longer or add a little more flour if necessary. So I'm going to take that off the heat, put the lid on it, and keep it warm while we get the rest of the things ready. So the next thing I want to do is we want to get a little bit of sear on these brats. So I'm going to bring these over here on the grill over some direct coal here and we're going to get some sear on the outside of these guys. And then we're going to give them a quick flip and get sear on both sides of these. We'll give those just a couple more minutes here and then we'll be ready to move on. Okay, and after just another minute or so, these guys are ready. I'm going to take them back off and I'm going to set them back in the pan with the braising liquid while we get our plate ready. Okay, I've got my warm iron pan here, and we're going to top this guy off with a couple of these beautiful jalapeno brats. And then we're going to drizzle on some of that pan sauce that we made. That's looking amazing. And then I'm just going to give this guy a garnish of some green onions. and. We'll get started on this before the flies in the neighborhood take over. So, guys, this is amazing. You're going to have to give this a shot. Let me know what you think. Join me on Facebook, facebook.com slash mancavemeals. And until next time, this is John Setzler with Man Cave Meals.